Well, my own journey in coming to seminary, when Sarah and I, uh, my wife, were first looking at coming to school, uh, I had grown up in Ashland. And so after having graduated from high school and college here and, and moving on and doing ministry for about 15 years, uh, I told Sarah, the last place I want to go back to is Ashland, Ohio. You know, we were living in Arizona at the time, and I'd gotten used to warmer temperatures and all those things. Uh, but as we started looking at schools all across the country, um, we started weighing out what are the things that are important to us when we're looking for, uh, for a seminary. And the kind of things that kept rising to the top where we really wanted something more than just to get trained. And we wanted to be a part of a community that actually we could live with and, and, and enjoy this journey with them. We also wanted there to be a care for our own spiritual formation, our own spiritual growth that went beyond the classroom. Um, and when we were measuring those things, plus things like the cost of living and, and those sorts of things, it, Ashland just rose to the top for us. So when we made our decision to come to Ashland, I remember telling Sarah, okay, we're going for two years and then we're moving back out. And here we are nine years later, uh, still part of what God's done for us here. So we've got, we've got our own community. We've got our own um, lives that we live with people here. Um, I guess the, the thing that came true for me when we came into the program itself was all of those things that we were hoping for actually ended up coming true that we were hoping that we would have a community and, and our expectations were exceeded. And we were hoping that spiritual formation would be as much a part of this as Ashland said it was, and that was actually exceeded as well. Um, when I think of all the probably hundreds of students that I've met with over the years, um, one of the stories that really sticks out to me is when I sat in this office with Dana and she said, I have no idea why I'm here or how I got here. I just sense that God's wanting to do something with me. I haven't done all the things that I feel I should do to prepare for this, but here I am. Um, well, Dana ended up coming to school, finishing her counseling degree, and uh, just this last winter, I got an invitation from Dana to the grand opening of her uh, personal counseling service, her own office. And it gave us a moment even just to get on the phone and celebrate. Remember back to that time you sat in my office having no idea what God was up to. And here you are, opening up your own practice and engaged in a ministry that you had only dreamed of several years ago. Those are the kind of stories that help me know that what I do here is fulfilling God's own plan for me as well.